Hey guys, it's Joe here with 13C. And I get asked a lot, as everybody will see this in the background, especially when I'm teaching my daughters to shoot, what have you done to this 1022? First thing is, this is a Ruger, Dig Ruger 1022, obviously. It's got the digi camo pattern uh, that was out a few years ago, probably still some around to run these uh, on and off. Um, what I've done to it is put something called tech sights on them. These are the uh, 100 version. They make another version as well and another insert. Um, I'll put a link down below in the description. What these tech sights do is they give you AR style sights on your Ruger 1022. If you try to do any real accuracy with your 1022, you realize, especially what we're going to do today, shooting these one inch squares, um, it starts <laughs> with that front sight post. It gets very hard to actually be able to focus on the front sight post and see anything beyond it that's say like an inch for example a, even at 25 yards so put a st uh, smaller front sight post on it akin to the AR it's got your standard peep sights here and it also gives you eight more inches on your sight radius as well which of course will help your accuracy there as well I did use this for an apple seed a few years ago so I've got this uh, sling mount uh, adapter on here. Appleseed's a great program. We'll try and talk about that a little more, and I'll put a link down below in the description. For now, let's get started on some shooting. All right, guys, so I got my Tier 1 Tactical 100% Cotton Accuracy Towel out today. Let's see if that helps us out any. gonna do it. Alright guys, so we're downrange. I had one malfunction as you can tell with that uh, new box of Winchester uh, 555 bolt pack ammo. Um, I had, I had uh, my three first shots I believe are right here, one, two, three. I changed my uh, natural point of aim when I cleared that malfunction and I'm pretty sure this is the last one that went up here. Uh, we're definitely high with, the, with this over compared to what I have it normally sighted in with. So we're gonna go with another batch of ammo, fire at this next square and uh, see if we can improve that any. Got uh, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna adjust our sights down just a little bit here and uh, see if we can clean that up. All right, guys, so we've got our elevation dialed in here. I'm just going to clean this up a little better for you. You can just move it to anyone. All right, guys, so we've reloaded here with some CCI mini mags, and uh, we're going to see what kind of difference that makes. That was our five. Let's get on and take a look. Hey guys, so I had some fellow shooters join me out here on the range today. I finished shooting out these squares here. We've got our five rounds right here, all well within our inch. And we've got uh, basically one drag jagged hole. All right, so some final thoughts. Uh, the 1022s are just a blast. They're a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, but with a few simple upgrades, you can make it even that much more uh, pleasurable to shoot. 
So as you can tell, I've got this extended magazine release down here at the bottom, which allows the mag to come out a lot easier. There's no more fiddling around, trying to uh, find a button underneath, get it to engage. Hopefully the magazine will drop out. Um, I've also got a Volkswagen bolt hold in here. So when you lock the bolt to the rear in a traditional 1022, letting it go forward, you would need to get under here and manipulate and mess around with that bolt hold. With this full quartz that's in here, simply pull back and release, and it automatically disengages that bolt hold and lets it go forward. Um, we've got our tech sights, which of course, we've been talking about this entire video. Uh, they're aluminum and hard coat anodized, and the rear aperture here bolts directly into what's already uh, tapped into the top of your receiver for the scope mount. The front simply drifts in and out and replaces that front sight. Apple seed. That's why I have this sling on here. Apple seed's a great program. It's a lot of fun. And if you aren't familiar with it, please check out the link below. Not only does it teach marksmanship, but it's history. Um, and for female shooters, uh, most of the events they'll wind up shooting for free. Uh, under 18, a lot of times they'll uh, shoot uh, at no charge as well as active duty military and current law enforcement will generally be at a reduced rate or free as well. Um, and it, it, these programs are fun. It's a great bonding experience to get out with some fellow shooters, learn some history at the same time as getting some practical marksmanship skills. It's not a tactical course, uh, but it just gets those basics of sight picture breathing and just gets you back to the basics. Anyway, I urge you to check them out as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at facebook.com forward slash gun reviews and obviously here uh, on the, on the page channel as well you can leave your questions here and we'll try and get back to you but Facebook is a great way for us to get back with you uh, pretty rapidly thanks so much everybody and good shooting